In post-war Europe, where cars were an expensive rarity, Piaggio's Vespa came to dominate the market for cheap, fun vehicles. For British mods of the early 60s, being seen on a Vespa was an essential part of the image. The scooters from that era are nowadays restored by aficionados like Niall McCart and resold as classic vehicles to well-heeled customers. Guys uh, do have a bit of money, like uh, you've got the designers, architects, pop stars. They'll sort of ask a few questions and the next thing you know they've bought, you know, one or two or three scooters and the top ones as well, just out of the blue. The economic chill in Europe has been boosting demand for scooters as cheap commuter transport. But Piaggio's Vespas are being priced out of this market. Vespas are no longer the poor man's runabout. Even the cheapest scooter in its range costs just under $4,000, which is over twice as expensive as competitors from China. So Piaggio is trying to create a premium market for new Vespas, like the one which exists for classics. At the top of the range is the 946, which will cost you over $12,000. It's a remake of the original 1946-style Vespa. Along with it, you can buy Vespa-branded T-shirts and a whole range of Vespa-branded accoutrements. The company doesn't just want to sell you a scooter, it wants to sell you a lifestyle. The only thing we can think is that they're trying to elevate the level of the, the brand to an iconic status, much in the same way that um, Lambretta have done with clothing and toiletries and other ancillaries. Vespa is an historic name among scooters, but can it make it into the ranks of world super brands? Sales of the 946 will show. But the mass market for scooters is now so crowded and profit margins in it are so low that Piaggio thinks that boosting the image and the price of his Vespas is a gamble worth taking. Jeremy Howell, BBC News.